Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a review on my Stealth Gear Vent Core Mini Holster for my 9mm shield. So, to do that, I'm going to start with this, which is my Stealth Gear Vent Core Appendix Carry Holster for my SIG P229 SAS Gen 2 with the E2 grips. This is my favorite handgun. I won't lie. And it has, you can see, it's safety checked. There's no magazine. There's no round in the chamber. After going through you know, a drawer full of holsters, I finally sucked it up and paid the money to buy this holster back in November of 2016 and I paid $84 for it uh, plus shipping. It is certainly my favorite inside the waistband holster that I have for this pistol and it may be my favorite holster for this pistol period which is why when I bought my Smith & Wesson 9mm shield, no magazine, nothing in the chamber, pointing in a safe direction. So when I bought my shield 9mm, the first holster that I looked at was going to be another Stealth Gear event core. And at the time that I checked, that holster for the shield was $84 and I and I just didn't want to pay that because I'm um, some people would say cheap I would like to say frugal so instead I bought a Vetter light tuck for $54.99 plus shipping and I really do like this holster I can say that it is my favorite single clip holster and I carried the gun in it for, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe a month or so. However, I just don't like the single clip, at least for me on my belt. It just still seemed to, to move around too much on me. So, being frugal, I looked at the Stealth Gear Revolution line of holsters. And this holster was on Amazon actually for $54.95. And then if I got the Amazon credit card, I got a $50 gift card. So I got this holster for $4.95. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have modified it. When I initially got it, the setup that it had, I did like it with the exception that it rode too low. And the, the gun is so small, which makes the holster so small, you don't have as many adjustment options as I did with my SIG. And like I said, you can see that I, I tried to modify it and was able to raise the grip up some. However, by doing that, it pushed it out and it really made the handle just really poke out. Around St. Patrick's Day, they were running a 20% discount on their vent core holsters. So using my prior knowledge that the appendix was really too small to get the handle up as high as I liked it, I ordered this, which is the Stealth Gear Event Core, what they call their Mini. Regular price on this was $99 minus my 20% discount, brought it to $79.20 plus shipping. And then they also threw in a three pack of their 
um, stealth gear magazine holsters or utility holsters and I'll show you one of those later on in the video. So anyway here it is and you can see I've been I've been wearing it for a little while and I have made some adjustments. So I adjusted one down and one up to put it about right there like that. And even being a mini, it's kind of big. I have to get used to that around my waist. It does allow your cover garment to have more of a natural arch so that it doesn't bulge straight out. And I do like that. You may be able to see where it's starting, already starting to curve where I wear it at three o'clock. It certainly is comfortable. I mean, I like the vent core line of holsters. Now, I'll show you some footage um, wearing the shield and then also wearing the SIG just for a point of comparison. Okay, here I am. I have the uh, SIG P229 on. I know I could have worn a darker shirt to conceal it better, but I picked a lighter shirt on purpose to give you a better idea of how it does conceal. And if I lost a few pounds, I know that would help as well. So, there's the weapon at 3 o'clock. Pretty much a neutral cant. And then I have a spare 15 round magazine right here in that little stealth gear sleeve. And everything's being held up by my Core Essentials tactical belt, which I'm really liking so far. Okay, now here's the shield. Here it is, the Stealth Gear Vent Core Mini for the Smith & Wesson 9mm Shield. Oh, and I should say this is also the same shell for the 40 Shield, not the 45, but the 40. I'm liking it so far. Like I said previously, it is kind of big. I have to get sort of used to that on my hip, <laughs> but it's but it's not uncomfortable. I've worn it several times without an undershirt between the back of the holster and my skin. That's not a problem. We're just now starting to get into the warmer weather, so we'll see what happens. I'm down in Georgia and it, it's hot six months out of the year, so we'll see what happens with that. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Bye.